This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Kate Ritchie has had a loose weekend. No, I actually haven't. Hens party? And I'm not going to bring... What did the straws look like? Tables. (laughs) Tables. I'm not going to bring stories to the table if you... Steal the story what from was me his name, the and, and give and give your version of events. I did go away for the weekend with a girlfriend. Um, very dear, two person hens party. Old. It wasn't a hens party. Those days are over for the two of us. Uh, in fact, it was actually my girlfriend Beck. It was her birthday yesterday. Happy okay, birthday! Happy birthday, Beck. Uh, she's from Brisbane, and so we both flew to Melbourne on Friday. Um, just to get away yeah. for the weekend. Awesome. Saw some friends down there. Um, stayed with them. How was the gossip between you and Beck? When the girls get to... Tommy, you know what I'm talking about. When the oh. sisters are hanging. Can't, oh, my God. Can't shut them up. Imagine the topics. Imagine if you could be on the fly oh, on the man. wall at dinner that That's night. That's a TV show. Isn't it? Kate and Beck take on the world. It's actually quite embarrassing because... We get so we don't get to see each other very no. often, and she will usually give me a call when she's on her way to pick up her sons from yeah. football training, and she's got Three six minutes. six minutes. She and she'll say yeah. if she doesn't catch me, she'll leave me a voicemail that sometimes I won't really listen to, mm-hmm. but if I do, it says I'm just calling because I'm on the way to soccer uh, football training. Um, uh, if you can't call me back in the next two minutes, don't call yeah, me, and okay. I'll talk to you in you know sixty days. I hear you, sister. Hey, so it was, call me back. I think I'm per- perimenopausal. That's not what we talk about, mate. Huh? It's not what we talk about. Oh, we did but do a little did, bit yeah. of that, actually. I would say so. Um, <laughs> uh, something else to look forward to in this lovely life of ours. Uh, but, yeah, very excited. And we get overly – it's a bit like when I'm telling this story now. Yeah. I, we know we only have a certain – amount of time yep. and there's so many things that we need to catch up on and most stories start with oh, I don't I don't know if I told you this yet but blah, 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 blah. and then then they did this awesome. and oh my goodness and Missed out. anyway um look part of the part of the reason for going away mm-hmm. is to you know see friends get together take a breath yep. get out of sydney yeah, here. not even think about work mm-hmm. don't don't like, just imagine that you are far, far no, away. Yep, no paparazzi. The people that we had, um, that we were staying with, we actually met them when we both turned 40 and we travelled to Italy, Beck and I. We did a bit of a trip for our yep. 40th birthday. Beautiful, great story. <laughs> you, you just want to know. No, just tell me who you bumped into. Oh, I like to paint the picture. That was good. Would it's you good. know? Well, I actually ran into. Um, I ran into yesterday. Mm. I ran into a woman who worked in a shop in like rural Victoria. Yeah. She did the flowers for my wedding. No way. Did you? You didn't remember her. I did. Did you? I did. I said, you, but you had cropped hair then. And she said, oh, I did too. And that was like many years ago. Anyway, that's not the story. Mm. That's not who I ran into. Yeah. When I got when I got to Melbourne, we settled into the house. We had some lovely lemon slice and a cup of tea and fresh raspberries from the garden. Of like course, seriously. As you do. Beautiful. We get ready for dinner <laughs> and we walk into the restaurant, which is at a golf club. And you'll never guess who I see. And it's not one person. It's four people. And I, sit, and I walk out the back of the restaurant and I'm looking over at this gorgeous view. Yeah. The Wiggles? <laughs> no. I'm just thinking four-person teams. One after the other. Get ready for, get ready for these names. Yep. I'm going to start with Rob Sitch. Awesome. Hmm. Then I'm going to move on to Glenn Robbins. Glenn. <laughs> Loves his golf. Yep. Loves his golf. Now my nose is really awesome. Why? Because I'm, sniff- okay. I'm sniffling. Yep, so um, working dog. Yeah. So they are there. Then I thought it was you for a minute. Mick Malloy. Was Mick there? Yes. Mick Malloy awesome. followed by, he rounds the corner. Smallest of the group. I mean, mm-hmm. debatable. Maybe Glenn Smaller. I don't know. He pops up from the back. Mr. Sam Pang. Pangy. Yes. Awesome. So where I'm staying for the weekend, yep. there they are. I'm. This is an attempt to get out of Sydney, get away from even yep. radio. I mean, I love my job in radio, but, yep. you know, I don't really want to talk about radio. I want to have the weekend away. So and you, no disrespect to any of these men yep. and the people that they were with. Lovely group. But I, I just wanted to... Um, I could not... So did you... I could 
not believe it. So when are you on? Have you been paying attention? <laughs> is it this Thursday night? I've done or? some big negotiations. <laughs> it's in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.